الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a beautiful ayah in Surah Al-Ahzab. Allah says, النَّبِيُّ أَوْلَى بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ that indeed the Prophet wasallam is closer to the believers and is more deserving than the believers themselves. Manifesting this ayah and explaining this ayah, we have the example of two famous companions. Companion number one was Nusayba bin Ka'ab radiallahu ta'ala anha. In the battle of Uhud, the Muslims were actually in the lead at one point in time. And then when they got greedy, they abandoned the station of the Prophet wasallam and went and chased the spoils of war. When they did this, Nusayba bin Ka'b, who was originally there, just serving the Muslims in terms of their drink, taking care of the sick and the injured, she left her position and she ran into the battlefield with a shield and a sword. She ran in and defended the Prophet ﷺ from his right, from his left, from in front of him and from behind him. Anytime an arrow came, she was there to ward it off. Anytime a sword came, she was there to push it away. And that is what Nusayba bint Ka'b radiallahu anha did for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So much so that she was struck 12 times in her body. The 12th time, it was on her shoulder. A blow so severe that it knocked her out. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commemorated her bravery and wanted us to remember that legacy that she left behind, that she defended the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So much so that he said that wherever I looked in the battle, I saw Nusayba bin Ska'b. She was there to defend me by my side. Example number two is of Khubayb. Khubayb was taken hostage by the disbelievers of his time. And when they were taken hostage, he was taken hostage, they were going to sacrifice him and slaughter him and cut off his neck. And as he's laying there flat, his neck laid out, they put the sword to his neck and they said, We will let you out of this position and return you to your family. All you have to do is say, Replace me with the Prophet. ﷺ. And he said, Never. I would never replace myself with the Prophet. I don't even want to see him pricked by a single thorn. My dear brothers and sisters, this was the sacrifice that the companions عنه, made in defending the Prophet. ﷺ. Allah chose them for their purpose, and Allah has chosen us for a different purpose. In our times, the Prophet wasallam is no longer being attacked by the sword, no longer being attacked by the arrows, but he's being attacked by the words and the allegations that are made against him. And it is very sad to see that there's no academic response to this. It is very sad to see that the Muslims are not standing up and fulfilling their duty to the Prophet wasallam. Bismillah ta'ala, I will be coming to a city near you and teaching this class called the Prophet's Smile. This class is dedicated purely to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, getting to know him, who he was, what his characteristics were, and most importantly, what is our responsibility in defending the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and how do we go about it? We will be taking some of the most famous allegations against the Prophet sallallahu and literally annihilating them. Meaning that we'll give them no room to stand and just destroy them. So I hope to see you at this class, bithinlahi ta'ala. For further details, please go to www.almaghrib.org. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.